The idea is to integrate, uh, to look at a couple of environmental problems from a very interdisciplinary perspective, looking at the social implications, the cultural implications, and the scientific implications. And during the loose semester, we compare environmental issues. We do comparative analysis of environmental issues um, in the Chesapeake Bay drainage basin, which is where we live, and coastal Louisiana. All the courses that we do are, uh, we, we talk to and we um, spend time with community people and we do projects that are related to community to communities whether they be in the Chesapeake Bay or whether they be in Pennsylvania or whether they be in Louisiana but it's the independent research where we sort of have a different approach what we do with the independent research is we have students do research on um, topics that have been that are of concern to the community and that have been suggested by the community. So we actually have, in, in a sense, we, we call this kind of the consultant model where the community defines the research agenda and the students do it. In October, we spent a week in the Chesapeake Bay and that trip was to learn about, we'd been studying the Chesapeake Bay and that watershed and so it was to learn, to go and see it for ourselves because it's one thing when you learn about you know, you talk about eutrophication or issues of pollution, and when you go and you see it, it makes a lot more sense. We spent four nights in New Orleans, and we learned a lot. It's kind of interesting because they developed this program before Hurricane Katrina occurred, but obviously that's really changed uh, the city, and so we spent a lot of time, we did a tour of the city, we learned a lot about what happened with Katrina, but not just what happened, but like some of the causes of that. Uh, we also did a service project there, working with the community. And then we also talked with people that live and work there that do development and urban management, things like that. The students enjoy doing useful research. And I think that they were really challenged by trying, number one, to, to, to do research that um, was uh, scholarly. Uh, but at the same time, then to represent that research in a way that the volunteer organizations could understand and to make it useful for them. It's easy to get frustrated with, uh, with coursework because you start to feel like, man, I'm learning about all these problems, but, but I'm never doing anything to fix them. And, I, and it almost gets depressing or you feel like you're almost wasting time learning rather than doing. Very early on, I discovered the difference between, um, you know, setting up, for example, a laboratory where students would go out and test a hypothesis and write a report um, and have it end there. The difference between doing that and telling students that um, people are concerned about such and such a problem and here's some you know newspaper articles about it and so what we're going to do is we're going to go out and we're going to do a project to try to explore certain dimensions of that problem and we're going to uh, our, we're going to be sure that our results get back to the people who are concerned and therefore we're going to try to um, find some, or at least play a role in finding solutions for that problem. And the difference in attitude between the students and their engagement and their enthusiasm and their sense of accountability is, you know, unbelievably different. I mean, in the, 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 if, if students, for example, if they're just doing something for a lab report, I've had this happen, I've observed this. If they're doing something for a lab report and they're not, they, they realize they made a mistake in the way they collected the data they're likely to say, well, let's just use it anyway, and let's do the best we can with it, and let's just get on with it and write the report. And I have had students who were in the same situation where we were doing a project that was going, uh, stormwater runoff studies in Carlisle that were going back to, the, to Carlisle for actually some decision making, to come to me and said, I don't think we collected this data can we go back and collect, I don't think we collected these water samples properly, can we go back and collect them again? 
And I mean, that's all about accountability. And then the students were like, we can't just use these samples because they may be incorrect and we're, it's, the information is going out to the community and we want it to be correct. And I mean, it was, you know, when, when I first started doing this, it was like, you what? You want to go back and recollect the samples and do it again? Are you sure you want to do that? And they were like, yes, I'm sure we want to do that. This is, we didn't do it right. So, I mean, that's just an example of the difference in terms of engagement, accountability, uh, sense of purpose. Throughout my college experience, I've really maintained a, the opinion that learning before doing is really important, even if it's sometimes frustrating. And I think that this program really like enforced that for me. But what was nice about it, it was that we did, we learned and we did, did things at the same time. So everywhere that we went, we did some kind of service project with the community. Um, so in New Orleans, we were, I helped a, a Vietnamese community um, clear out an area that they're going to turn into a sustainable farm. Or when we were at LumCon, we went out on an island and we started, we planted grasses, marsh grasses that'll help keep the land intact so that it won't erode away. It's a better education for students when they're working with community. They begin to understand what it's really like to be engaged in a project, what it's really like to be accountable, what the real world is like. My after college plan for now is to, I'm going into a PhD program in anthropology. And anthropology is, I see it as a way of really learning from people. And I think that the loose semester helped me know that that's what I want to do because one of the things that we spent a lot of time doing when we went places was to just talk to people. And it didn't have to be the experts. We had this saying for the semester that every person you meet is a textbook. And I think that that, um, that really resonates with me because a lot of times we think that you have to talk to experts to learn about things. But the people that live it daily, they know a whole lot too. And I mean, so the people that live along the coast of the Gulf of Mexico, they know far more than I will ever know about the ecosystems there and the animals there and what's happening. And they've, they've never taken a course on it in their life.